I'm really sorry. Sean, you... Out of all your choices, you kill him? Addendum Foreska. <gasps> This is yet another destiny. Computer dome? You... You detest me, I suppose. You are welcome to kill me now, if you wish. It should be easy if you put your mind to it. I... I... I want to know the truth. Very well. What... What is this? Your spare bodies. My spare? They were prepared in order to support me and my plan. They function mainly as physical labor, plus other additional deeds. No. Then... Then I'm... Precisely. You. 
are not human. The consciousness that is you does not reside in that body. Your thought center is there, within the quantum computer. You think, sense, and make decisions in there. You then output the results into commands that are transmitted to your body. And it then moves according to those commands. So that's why I didn't die back then. Indeed. Then me not having any memories... Clearly you wouldn't, as you've just come into existence. Only just now. Well, then, what's this? This? I know there's something here. It's warm, and it feels like it has a presence. Hmm. I can only assume it's a remnant of the boy you were modeled off of. He struggled with an incurable disease and lost his life at the age of ten. Who was he? He was called Sean. The same name as you. But that's not who I am, is it? Correct. He was simply used as the model to create your personality. Oh. Okay. I see. Then I'm just a program. My consciousness isn't inside this body. What does that matter? Have you considered humans may be the same? Not all humans retain their consciousness inside their brains. Perhaps they exist in an alternate dimension. And they may be thinking from there. They then send out their results via relays to their brain. If this is true, then no contradictions exist within cerebrum physiology. If the relay breaks, then your body is unable to recognize commands or function properly. Both are actual phenomena that occur. If nothing else, we're unable to prove that this theory is not correct. Um, can I ask you something? Why did you give me a personality? If you wanted an assistant, uh, wouldn't a simple robot following commands be enough? I... I wanted to see the world as you did. The world of that boy. Sean. What? Uh, what do you mean? There will be no more. Hey, wait! We'll speak later. Right now, I have something that I need you to do. Play the game. The decision game. Why? The game's already over. That is in regards to the others. You are an exception. What? I shall explain the rules. You can see a button right here. Your choices should be obvious. Press it, or refuse to do so. And if I push it? That computer then retains all of the data that makes you unique and unique. Memory, personality, how you think and sense. All of the algorithms that determine your actions are stored inside. If you choose to press the button, all of the data will be duplicated and transferred to a virtual space. It is there that a copy of you will continue to live indefinitely. That world is created to be essentially an exact match to reality. There is no way you realize it is false. The copy of you that is inserted within the space will live a happy life. However, that is strictly within the world of simulation. In the real world, your original self will still be required to stay and exist. The original and copy have no differences. The data is exactly the same. It will be duplicated.
without any discrepancies. Essentially, the moment you press the button, your existence splits in two. One of you will be in the virtual space, while the other remains in reality. Then, what happens if I don't want to push it? All data pertaining to you will be deleted. There are no backups. It will be impossible to recover your data. Refusing to press the button then means your existence will be erased and you will receive a complete death. Uh, a complete death? Your fate is narrowed to three possibilities. Press the button and move to virtual space. Press the button and stay in the real world. Refuse to press it and welcome complete death. You only get two options, however. To press this button or to refuse. What will you decide? You have 10 seconds. Ten seconds, and your future will be forever dead. I... I... So, that is your decision, then. It's fine. I just want you to end it. I see. Then, farewell. Your fate is narrow for you.
you're awake. Where am I? W what am? Your surgery was a success. Your illness is completely gone now. Mom? I'm so proud of you, Sean. Dad? What's the matter? You look a little out of it. Are you alright? Oh. Uh, I think I must have had a really bad dream. <laughs> anyway, what do you want to eat when you get out? Yeah. We gotta start planning where you want to visit, too. Uh, okay. Congrats on getting released, son. <laughs> Thanks. Food's ready. Make sure to eat up. I made sure to make all of your favorites today. Wow, your meat pie. And mashed potatoes, peanut butter, and celery sticks. Yay! Hey now, don't think that's it. Oh my gosh! The game system I always wanted! And all the books I've ever wanted to read! You fought really hard against your illness. So you deserve a reward. Dad, Mom, thank you so much. I've overcome my illness, and I'm going to school now. I have a whole bunch of friends, and I can read all the books I want at the library. I need to study super hard to catch up on all the stuff I missed while I was in the hospital. Dad and Mom, they tell me they love me all the time. And every day is fun. I gotta be the world's happiest kid. Zero? Why is it that I'm still on this side? In that virtual space? I'm, well, an identical version of me is living out a great, happy life. Why, why am I here? I have an old story to tell you. A senior citizen and a boy with an incurable disease met at a hospital. The child was always reading books significantly above his level. The majority of his young life was spent confined to a hospital bed, so books were his only friends. The boy had a special ability. He was extraordinarily gifted. His ability was highly regarded by his elder. So, in exchange for new books every day, the boy would share his academic knowledge. The boy was told that when his disease was cured, he was welcome to a job. However, life was unfair. The path to the child's future closed after a variety of coincidences piled up. The boy just laughed. He never laid blame. He simply, quietly, accepted his fate. He did not despair. Giving up on his life did not mean he gave up on his dreams. Before he died, he shared them with his old friend. And that dream is finally... What are you talking about? The universe. 
This quantum computer contains all of the infinite number of realities within space. Let's suppose there's someone, somewhere, who can fully operate that program. Perhaps he'll find that he can traverse the universe. What? Traverse the universe? 61404091. Oh, what are you saying? You sure you remember that number? A time will come when it will be handy. No way! Prove your innocence. <laughs> Fine. Take it off. The number for this is... I, I think it's... Thank you. 
even more suspicious. No, it's because I'm not human that I can't be. What do you mean? You existing is suspicious. I mean, come on. Why is a robot here? Well... Because Zero brought me in. What the...? Zero created me so I could support him in this game. Wait, Eric! Out of my way! I'm gonna kill him! Please, just calm down, Eric! Shut up! If what he said is true, then he would be able to tell us who Zero is! No? Fine. If you know, then tell me right now who the real Zero is! What's the name of the bastard who locked us up and forced us to take part in this messed up game? Zero... Zero's... Name is... Zero? The real Zero is? Delta! Delta? I've... heard that name before. Yeah. Me too. Oh, yeah. You guys wouldn't know. Because you transported into this history. Oh, would you stop yapping, Sean? This old man's name is Q. That's right! That's what he was called at DCOM. Yeah, I called him that. And Mira... She always called this man Q, too. Then... Stood. 
this guy totally stood! Hmm. You're completely correct, Sean. My real name is Delta. He spoke! <clears throat> I thought you were supposed to be deaf. Okay, and here we are. All of you will be living together here in the decom facility. Um, the, the old man in the wheelchair, too? Uh-huh. His name is Q. It should be obvious, but he can't walk. What's more, he can't see or hear, either. He can't hear? Nope. But then why? Strangers living together on Mars for an extended period of time? What kind of problems would that bring? How would the subjects figure out solutions to the resulting troublesome situations? According to the DCOM staff, that's what the experiment was trying to determine. Like the chair-bound old man. He put us in a difficult position on purpose to observe how we get out. Oh, a lie! Your eyes. This is... There are a large variety of security cameras in place throughout the shelter. A feed of all the footage is fed in, and they all appear there. So, you used that to spy on us the whole time? Yes, I did. However, it is limited to those histories where I am alive. Alive? Histories? Sigma, go take off his clothes. Huh? Just hurry and do it! There is no need. This is what you wanted to see, correct? You bastard! Hold on, don't do it, Eric! If you shoot, we won't be able to ask him anything. So, was it you who killed Junpei too? No, Mira was the one who did that. What? She was, in a sense, a collaborator. She was a necessary element of my plan. But it wasn't that I gave her a specific set of orders. We let her roam free and do as she pleased. Oh, I did exempt her from the ground injections. Then why? Why'd you kill Mira? She's a serial killer. The Heart Ripper. Many innocent people lost their lives because of what she's done. I only gave her her due punishment. What? What are you talking about? Stop bullshitting me! It's the truth. In another history, you and Diana and Sigma were all murdered by her. Shut up! You're just making shit up! I will never believe you! There's no way my angelic Mira would ever... No, Eric! Don't shoot! We haven't asked him everything yet. Shut up! I don't care! The X door will never open again! It'll open. Of course it will. What? Uh, so... Should we ask him how? Right. The old man. Delta. I 
see. I get it now. We need this boy. I mean, Sean. He needs to get direct access to the central control computer. Is that right? Uh, but... What? To connect to it directly, I need to extend a cable from my neck and plug it into the console jack that's inside. But, well... It looks like the cover is shut. Yeah. We would need to open this first. What's the code? Code? Don't play dumb. The code to open the damn cover. It's 3808-0832. It opened. Now we just need to extend the cord and connect it. Okay. It's ready. Just wait a sec. I'll open the exit. There's only one thing left to do. No! Wait! Don't! Stop running your goddamn mouth! Oh, 
through it. I'll just kill all of you! I'm... I'm coming to you, Mira. I'll just slowly put my weapon down first. So now, you two? Yeah, okay. Sure. Super comfy. Ah, I couldn't ask for anything more. Isn't that right? Yeah, right. Ah, I hope we can be like this every day. Ah, forever and ever and. Oh. 